Hi, my name is Brenda Brule. I work at a gay correctional facility. I love my job there. It is absolutely wonderful. It's close to my home. It's in my community. It has a world of... Uh, now you're getting me off. No, you're doing great. <laughs> you're doing super. So let me ask you this. If, let's say that this facility closes as the governor has, has called for it to do. What other options are there out there for you in terms of finding work in this area? It would be traveling to either Malone or else going out of the county. The positions that are available are probably midnights. I'm a nurse, so it's not like you have a regular normal life when you go to these other places here. I have a normal life. I'm on day shift. I can have a family life, a home life visit it with my friends, my family. I go someplace else, I'm on midnights working the rottenest jobs in the rottenest places. It's still a job, that's true. But I worked for a long time to get up to the position where I am now. It's like you're starting back over right from scratch and it's gonna be very hard. Let me ask you this, there are people who I talk to down in the city when I talk about these prison issues and they say, look, we want these guys closer to home. We, we think they should be incarcerated closer to their family. So many of them, you know, do come from the city. Do you think it's a good thing to send inmates this far north? Is this a good place for them to be? Do they, are they treated well here? Uh, is this a healthy and, and good place for them to sort of get on to the next phase of their lives? What do you think about that? It's a much better place for them than being down in the city. Down in the city, they are still around the gangs, the families, the stuff like that. When they come up here in a peaceful, quiet farming community, then they get a little bit more feel of what it's like to have good interactions between people. We're more, I don't know, hands-on. They get to experience a little bit more of what it would be like to be back on the street versus being in a huge jail where you're an inmate there, you're a number there. Here, there's a little bit more staff, inmate interaction. They're treated a little bit more like humans, like normals. They made a mistake, they did wrong, they paid their time. We're helping them transition back into the community. Let me ask you one last question. Um, the governor may well see this. Speak to him for a moment. If you could just say to Governor Cuomo your views about where this all goes next, what would you tell the governor? There are so many ways that you can cut, save money. Closing the jail that I work at is not one of them. We are specifically for parole violators. We help them. We help them transition back into normal community life. The other jails just cannot do that for them. They just can't. They get a more personal experience here, more positive experience here. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you.